Laptop manufacturers are starting to care more and more about the environment, and they totally should, as the Earth's resources are finite, and we haven't reached the sci-fi level of mining asteroids just yet. This is why we have to recycle and reuse as much of our unusable tech as possible. The process is already up to a good level, with most PCBs and other boards being able to be stripped of their precious metals and other materials. One of the more active companies in terms of showing appreciation for the environment is Dell, which places a big emphasis on using recycled and renewable materials for its devices. Dell's latest offering that we have bought to inspect is the Latitude 15 5530, which uses bioplastics as well as recycled plastics and reused carbon fiber, leading to a reduced carbon footprint. Despite that, the laptop looks good and has a very sturdy chassis with a thickness of 22 mm. We are also happy with the weight as the device stopped the scales at 1.59 kg. Going down to the base, there is a keyboard with an optional backlight, but no spill resistance, something which might be important given that most of the Lenovo competition offers these features as standard. However, Dell gets the typing experience right, with long key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad is weirdly surfaced, which hinders the smoothness when gliding. On the other hand, the accuracy and responsiveness are on point. The I.O. coverage is supercharged, with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, LAN port, HDMI 2.0 port, audio jack and a micro SD card reader. In addition to that, a configuration with a smart card reader can be bought as an option. Taking apart the laptop is easy, and there are many reasons to take it apart but we'll mainly focus on upgradability. There are two SATIM RAM slots, which can fit up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM, along with two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, which can fit Gen 4 drives. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! The display selection includes a 768-bit TN panel, which you should stay away from, along with a Full HD IPS panel and a 4K UHD IPS panel. We chose the Full HD version, which is ideal for an office setting, delivering comfortable viewing angles, good max brightness of around 300 nits, and no harmful PWM usage across all brightness levels which you will cherish, considering you will be using it throughout the day. The battery life is where the laptop shows promise, with the 58Wh battery pack pairing nicely with the Core i5-1235U, lasting for 11 hours and 7 minutes of web browsing or 8 hours and 33 minutes of video playback. Hardware-wise, the laptop offers both U-series and P-series CPUs from Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake family. This is something we value a lot, since you can really configure the device depending on your workload. The Core i5-1235U is a nice upgrade over its Tiger Lake predecessor, especially in 3D rendering. The integrated graphics on the inside are plenty for office work. Still, if you need something more, you can get the MX550 from NVIDIA. The cooling setup uses two heat pipes that cover the CPU. They are also surprisingly long and take a right turn to connect to a single fan. In the stress test, we see that the CPU isn't made for continuous heavy work, as its clock speed is just keeping down and down along with the temperatures and the power consumption. So at least it's efficient. The comfort is exceptional, as the fan is noticeable but not very loud, while the hotspot is nowhere near where you most often place your hands on the keyboard. To sum it all up, you'll hardly be getting the most powerful laptop, but you can sleep safely at night knowing that you're at least doing something to protect the environment. With that said, even if the Latitude 15 didn't have all the green stuff about it, it would still be a very good offer, for both the office and as a daily driver. 
If you want to see more tests and details about the latitude 5530, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.